This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. WFAA.com reports several high water rescues were needed throughout the morning yesterday as high water stalled vehicles across North Texas. At least five cars were stalled out at Trinity Boulevard and Precinct Line Road in Fort Worth. Water was reported to be knee deep. A woman's car was swept away at Cromwell Main Creek Road in Fort Worth. The woman walked to a nearby house for help. Her car was trapped in barbed wire, allowing her to escape, but it eventually washed about 200 feet down the creek. While barricades were in place to prevent others from trying to cross, driver after driver could be seen attempting to cross the high water. In northwest Dallas, water rose at Northwest Highway and Webb Chapel Road. Drivers were advised not to attempt to drive through standing and rising water. KENS5.com reports from San Antonio. Rescue crews were busy there Tuesday night as they tried to help motorists stuck in high water. One victim at San Pedro and Quincy, which is on the lower level of Interstate 35, was in his car trapped with the water at window level. The driver could be seen texting and calling for help. The water nearly came up to the roof of the vehicle, and then a big rig came plowing through, making the situation even worse. A good Samaritan quickly jumped into action, going down to the lower-level lanes where the man was stuck in his car and helping before firefighters and police arrived. The San Antonio Fire Department was eventually able to pull the man to safety. The Associated Press reports a judge has sentenced to 55 years in prison a driver who was legally drunk when she caused a San Antonio crash that killed four people. Valerie Andrews was sentenced Tuesday in San Antonio for her November guilty plea to four counts of murder in the August 2010 crash that also injured her. The San Antonio Express News reports she had faced at least 40 years in prison under her plea deal. She could have gotten a life sentence if convicted of murder at trial. The accident killed 55-year-old Maria Aguilar de Perez, her two daughters, and her four-year-old grandson. Police say the crash happened as they chased Andrews for running a red light. She had a blood alcohol level of 0.11% when the legal limit is 0.08. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.